Hi, my name is Bill Pitts, Business Sales and Marketing Director with a commercial cleaning company, The Cleaning Guys and a Girl, based right here in Canal Winchester, Ohio, and St. Petersburg, Florida. We're glad to be part of the Canal Winchester Chamber of Commerce who put these videos together. Today's video is based on the book, The Go-Giver, by Bob Berg and John David Mann. They share in the book through illustrative means of the five laws of stratospheric success. The law of value, the law of compensation, the law of authenticity, and the law of receptivity. And I would like to speak today on the law of influence, which I think is really closely related to all of them, especially the law of value. Berg and Mann says, your influence is determined by how adamantly you place other people's interests first. It was President Theodore Roosevelt who once said, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. The business you own or lead or even work in, in the days that we're experiencing must grab a hold of the law of influence to survive and succeed. The guru of leadership training, John Maxwell simply says, leadership is influence. You see, leaders add value to others. We are people of value that add value to others. Now I can say certain things are my values, but those values must align with my behavior in order to influence others. Otherwise, it's just an energy drain if they're not aligned. You see, leaders add that value to others in order to influence them. We zero in on them and their need, not our own. We serve others that way. We need to look at others and say, I value you too much then not to give you my best. So we find those core things and values that we can hold on into a changing world and then we influence others that they can hold on to those core things and value as well. Have you never noticed that change does not always tell you it's coming? That's why we need something constant in order to influence. The people that have influenced me in my life have been those people who are consistent through thick or thin. So the core is the why of your influence. There are at least five areas of my life that determine how I can have influence with others. My creed, which shows what I believe. My character, which shows what I am. My conversation, which shows what I say. My conduct, which shows what I do and my contribution, which shows what I give. I was just thinking, probably 99% of the people who got up this morning, they just wanted to be inspired. They're just wanting to get one step in front of the other, wanting to make it through the day. Their mind is full of all of the things that they may be behind doing. It could be their business. It could be their family. In order to be a person of influence, we have to be that 1% that gets up in the morning to inspire others. Let me end this with a word picture. Picture all of us as elevators. When people come in contact with you, do you take them up or do you take them down? Let me encourage each of us to be a go-giver. This world needs people that can inspire and influence. When people get around us, give value to them. Lift them up. This is Bill Pitts. Thank you for stopping by.